We've talked about the different components within HCX for VMware Cloud and AWS. We've talked about how to enable the service within VMware Cloud and AWS. We've talked about the firewall rules between on-prem and the cloud. We've talked about how to enable the service and download the components for on-prem. Now we'll go through a demonstration of how the HCX service works. Here we can see that we're on-prem, so we're lo logged in as administrator, and we'll try to look at the HCX service itself. So we've already deployed this on-prem. We can see the HCX is available within the dashboard itself, both through the console as well as the menu information. So we choose HCX. Here we can see within the dashboard tab all the information related to the HCX service itself. So we can see how many VMs have been migrated, etc. We can see as well as where the service exists. This is the on-prem environment as well as the cloud environment as well or the SDDC. We can see the site pairings between on-prem and the cloud as we mentioned in the module before, the source and the destination. And we can also uh, see where the layer two stretch or how many layer two stretch networks that we have between on-premise and the cloud as well. For the interconnect service, we can see which extended networks that we have. So we talked about we have one extended network. Here we can see the name of the extended network. We can see the uh, destination of the extended network, as well as the actual destination network itself, and the fact that the extension has been completed. Looking at it from a cloud side, so now we're looking at the vCenter within the SDDC on VMware Cloud and AWS. If we choose menu and go into the global inventory lists, there's the option of local networks. And we can see from this perspective which networks are available or have been extended from on-prem in the cloud, although all the services to be extended will be done from on-premise. Going back to the on-premise, we look at the HCX components, and based on the discussion in the module, we can see the HCX interconnect service and manager, the WAN optimization, as well as the layer two extension appliance as well that's been deployed within our on-premise environment. If we go into hosting clusters, we can now walk through a demonstration. If we go into the hosting clusters, now we can look at the actual components that have been deployed. So we can see the HCX gateway, WAN optimization and the enterprise appliance, as well as the layer two stretch appliance as well, as mentioned before. If we now go back to the HCX components, this walks us back to the dashboard. We look at, at the administration and we can see what's been deployed from a local instance, as well as a remote or cloud HCX perspective. This is where we can download and upgrade the local appliances within our on-prem data center and also see from a remote HCX or a cloud perspective what version that we're running. If we go into the migration tool, again, we're doing this from on-premise, we can migrate virtual machines from on-premise to the cloud. The first thing that it'll do is try to take an inventory of all your, your resources on-premise. Here we can see the different uh, clusters within our data center and the associated resource pools for that on-premise environment. We can also do a reverse migration, and essentially what that means is that we can do a migration from the cloud to on-premise. So if we choose that, it'll inventory all the information that we have in the cloud, and we can see the resource, the compute resource pool and all the different VMs that we currently have in the cloud. In this example, we'll try to migrate something from the on-premise to the cloud. So the first thing that we'll try to do is identify which VM that we want to uh, migrate, so we choose the VMC resource pool. Here we have an HCX demo VM ready to be deployed or migrated. We have to choose the destination folder. So in this case, we we'll choose the workloads folder that's in the cloud. Again, we're migrating from on-premise to the cloud. We choose the destination container. So in this case, it'll be the compute resource pool. And then we also choose the storage. So in this case, we choose the workload data store. We already have a layer two connection extended, so that's by default already within the UI. And we have the choice to choose vMotion or bulk migration. In this option, we'll use vMotion as the underlying mechanism. We choose next. It'll do a validation of what we just provisioned. It'll say in this case, everything's valid regarding all the different options that we want to use for the migration itself. 
It indicates which layer two extend, extended network we want to use between on-premise and the cloud, and we choose finish. So here we can see that the migration has been completed. And because we are using the WAN optimization appliance, having a VM that's about seven gigabyte took about five minutes to migrate from on-prem to the cloud. So it's a very efficient migration. This concludes the hybrid cloud extension or HCX module for VMware Cloud and AWS. Thank you.